Hey everybody, thanks for watching. John, thank you so much. I'm not check I'm not really checked out on all that messaging kind of stuff, and I apologize. I'm just I don't follow it very much, but here's what I did. This thing was centered, so I had two grooves on either side, which was making the belt at an angle like this. So I just loosened up my eccentric enough and used a a screwdriver to pry and and turn to move it over to the far right when I read the manual it said that the belt was supposed to be in the grooves closest to the short end of the drive uh, sleeve here and I believe this is the short end of the drive sleeve this side here uh, but I am nice and straight here um, so we're going to go quick start. We'll go to 500. It's nice and quiet. I haven't had it that quiet in a long time. So I believe I'm happier there. No more noise. And as I watched the video on doing the upgrade, um, Jim McCann kept going up on the speed to make sure that it was balanced. You didn't hear any knocking. So that sounds good. Then he went to 34.50. Continue. Confirm. That sounds really good. I don't hear any knocking. Oh, and I learned one more thing too. Um, on the old uh, generation one, all you hit was confirm and it would go when you were at the higher speed. But on this one, you got to say confirm and then go. So it's a one more button push. So I'm going to go 9500, confirm, and then start. sounds real clean real smooth I think I've got the adjustment right um, I had to use a quarter inch Allen key to loosen that up um, so now it's just a matter of uh, I'm, I'm good right where I'm at okay so make sure that's good and tight make sure this is good and tight there we go and I am now uh, I am now feeling a lot better. Let me come back out this way a little bit. I hope you can see what I'm still doing. This is the only Allen wrench I've got. So we just put this wrench on here and get that really nice and snug. Okay. Um, that's not, I mean, I could have gotten tighter, but I didn't want to strip it out or break the ears because the uh, cast right there. So that's good and tight. Thank you, everybody. Um, I'm going to button it back up, and I believe now, now I can get back to uh, get back to doing a project. Um, the part on the Power Pro upgrade, because I did my own upgrade. It was on page 46 that I read on installing the eccentric bushing, and it says. Uh, Install it into the first shaft bearing through the upper poly V belt and position the belt on the belt grooves closest to the short end of the shaft. I'm assuming that that was that way. I did not read this all the way when I did this, I guess. And in the on the old Shopsmith, you had this belt, the poly V centered. So I, I must have followed that. And I didn't look at the belts. But as I look at the belts here now, they're both both parallel to each other. Um, so I'm happy. I think that's right. And uh, again, John, thank you so very much for the help. Thanks, you guys.